What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is Astronaut and I am so glad you clicked on this video and you're hanging out with me here today. I have some really shocking news for everyone and it has to do with Injustice 2 and it also has to do with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, their gameplay somewhat being explained. But before I get into that topic everyone, I just want to say lately I have been uploading a lot of Mortal Kombat 11 videos. So if you are a Mortal Kombat fan and you would like to know more about the production of uh, Mortal Kombat 11, what's going on with it, please make sure you check out that playlist. The playlist has information from Ed Boon and what he has shared about Mortal Kombat 11 so far. And it also includes uh, leak information. I have a few videos where I cover some rumors that came about from uh, September 2017. So all of that is in those videos. So guys, I just want to encourage you guys to check those videos out if you get the time. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and dive right on into the content of the video. We are talking about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I don't know about you guys, maybe um, this wasn't as big of a mystery for you guys as it was for me. But um, I did notice uh, online a lot of people seem to be confused like I was. Um, about the gameplay for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And the thing that blew me away, and I think it blew a lot of other people away, was the fact that when Fighter Pack 3 was revealed, everyone was expecting three characters. But of course, and as you all know by now, we ended up getting six characters. We got the Atom, who everyone already knew about. We got Enchantress, who everyone was already speculating about. And then we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And we didn't just get one of them, we got all four of them. So the question that was on everyone's mind was, what is their gameplay going to be like? How in the world are we going to be operating with four different characters when we were all really expecting just one character to be the final reveal character? Moreover, the thing that was on my mind, and I kind of narrowed it down to two possibilities, was that either we are going to be able to select one turtle and as that turtle is fighting, maybe the other three turtles were going to come in during his super move. Or, Ed Boon was going to go ahead and make all four turtles downloadable and playable. Now, up until tonight, I was pretty much leaning toward my first assumption, given the fact that if you look at the character select screen for Injustice 2, there's only two more slots available. One slot, of course, is Enchantress, and the other slot is, of course, for the turtles. But the question remains, how in the world can you fit four turtles into one character select slot. And this was also supported by the fact that during the uh, Fighter Pack 3 trailer, um, one of the turtles talked to Michelangelo and made the comment saying, slow down Mikey, we all fight as a team. That led some to believe, including myself, that only one turtle was going to be playable, but during the gameplay, all four turtles were somehow going to be interacting, or like I said, the other three turtles would come in during the super move, while the other turtle would be standing there fully playable. Now guys, I was thinking all of that up until today. So, I decided to jump online because I had some questions about Injustice 2. I wanted to do some research and figure out some things. I was thinking about another video concept that I could record and upload to the channel. So, my wanderings led me to pull up the Wikipedia page for Injustice 2 and I was just doing a brief skimming over of the information on there. And I just happened to scroll down where they had all the list of characters that were playable for Injustice 2 and you could read them clear as day. And the one thing that got my attention was the fact that all four turtles were listed as being downloadable characters. Yes, you heard right. And yes, I will say it again. All four turtles on the Wikipedia page for Injustice 2 are listed as individually being playable, downloadable characters. Now just to be certain of what I was reading, I decided to go ahead and do a little follow-up research. I noticed all the characters listed on the Wikipedia page were clickable. So I went ahead and clicked on both Raphael and Donatello just to see what their pages would say about them and their interaction with Injustice 2. I went to their pages and I scrolled down to the bottom to the video game section and in both pages for both Raphael and Donatello it said that both characters were downloadable characters for the Injustice 2 series. Alright, so guys by now I'm guessing you're probably getting a good feel for exactly how I feel about all this information, especially being in confusion about the gameplay style. In my mind, I was literally just running into a brick wall over and over about how you were going to get four characters playable with one character and all this stuff I was so sure that it was just going to be one of the turtles with all of the other three following behind them interacting in the uh, uh, super sequence or something along those lines but this really 
is something concrete and this is something that helps my mind think a little more logically like normal human beings. Now guys, if y'all had already come to the conclusion that all four turtles were going to be made playable and downloadable characters individually, please leave some comment information below because I would love to start a dialogue and discussion with you guys about this. And on top of that, I had already done a video in the past where I did put out the theory that I thought all four turtles were going to be uh, made available for downloadable characters, but I took it back after looking at some of the feedback online from gamers and whatnot. And also there was the evidence that there is just one character select box left after the Enchantress, which really led me to believe there has to just be one turtle playable with the other three somehow creatively being involved in the gameplay sequence at some point. Now this information is changing everything and it's giving me an even more broader perspective of Injustice 2 and the future of this particular series. Now guys, if that information didn't shock you, this information that I'm about to share right now may very well do that. All right, so if we are to go off this Wikipedia entry about Injustice 2, and I know some of you out there might be like, oh, okay, astronaut, that was Wikipedia, that doesn't count, that doesn't count, that doesn't count. To those of you, I say, do not jump off the roller coaster just yet. Stay on the roller coaster with me until the ride is over. So going back to what I was saying, if we are to go off this information from Wikipedia, the fact that we are going to get four more, not one, but four more downloadable characters, each individual turtle separately, then that creates an even bigger mystery about the Injustice 2 series. So guys, follow me if you can. There's only one more slot after Enchantress for one more person to fill. If we are going to get four turtles, that means that one turtle will be able to fill that last slot, but there's going to be three more slots that will need to be available for each of the individual turtles. So guys, this brings me to the mystery. Are there some hidden character select screen boxes on the character select screen for Injustice 2? I was under the assumption that Fighter Pack 1, Fighter Pack 2, and Fighter Pack 3 were complete, each Fighter Pack having three characters each, totaling nine, but now we know that um, it's not totaling nine, it's actually totaling 12. We also know there's only one more slot for one more character, which means that three more characters, which will be made playable, the other three turtles, they're gonna have to fit on the character select screen somewhere. So like I said guys, are there some hidden character select screen boxes on the main character select screen for Injustice 2? Dun da da dun dun da! <coughs> That's the mystery. That is the big shocker that I've been playing up to all this time throughout the video. The first shocker being that we're gonna get all four turtles, possibly, as downloadable characters. And the second shocker is the fact that there has to be three more boxes available so that we can select all four turtles on the character select screen, which suggests that there are hidden boxes on the character select screen for Injustice 2. Now guys, if you wanted to take it a step further than this, you could, because there are some strong implications to this. Those implications being, that if there are some hidden character select boxes for the remaining three turtles that are going to be playable, does that also mean that there can also be a fighter pack four? My logic and my theory about the downloadable characters for Injustice 2 uh, was that it appeared that Netherrealm had clearly painted this perfect picture of having all these silhouettes the main roster was there, and then all of these silhouettes were still filling the empty boxes, which left everyone wondering. And like I said, my logic led me to believe that each fighter pack was going to be revealing um, the characters that were hidden behind the silhouettes. And then once we found out who all those characters were, then that would pretty much be the end of the downloadable characters for the series. Am I wrong for thinking that? Did you guys also think that too? That after we found out who was hiding behind all the silhouettes, that was pretty much going to be all the downloadable characters and that's it. Guys, this would be a really good time to make use of the comment box below. Please leave some comments. I really want to hear from you guys on this point particularly. So let me try to bring this all full circle once again. So, like I said earlier, the implications to this means that there could very well be a fighter pack for waiting in the wings. If there are some hidden character select screen boxes, which there must be if we're going to be able to play as all four turtles, then that means that they could also add additional characters down the road in a fighter pack four. If I am right about all this and all four turtles are going to be made available for download, um, one filling up the last remaining uh, character select box and 
three other hidden character select boxes for the remaining three turtles. That means that Ed Boon and NetherRealm Studios might, now guys please note I said might, might be setting us up for the reveal of either a fighter pack four or some more future downloadable characters that may be coming up throughout the year of 2018 after the reveal of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles gameplay trailers. Alright guys, um, I think I'm pretty much done at this point. I am pretty much spent on this video. Um, I have gotten so caught up in the hype of my own video that I have to take a nap. And so this is a great opportunity for you to share your thoughts and your views on what you think about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Do you think that the Wikipedia article can be trusted with the information that was on there? If you would like to read this article for yourself, then just Google Injustice 2, click on on the Wikipedia link and then scroll down to the character selection screen where it does list all four turtles as being individually downloadable content characters for the series. And like I said guys there's only one slot left for one turtle which means that there would have to be three other hidden um, character select boxes for the remaining turtles which pretty much gives the implication that hey if these boxes are hidden then that could very well mean that other downloadable characters could be added to the roster for Injustice 2 in a mega 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 shocker Whew. all right guys i am done thank you for tuning into the video and thanks to all my subscribers everyone's been leaving such great comments and uh, giving me really good feedback and even correcting me on some errors that i've included in some past videos thank you guys i actually do not take offense to that whatsoever thank you so much for uh, pointing these things out it just helps my channel and helps me to uh, uh get a little more fine-tuned with my research and to uh um, work on the quality content that I provide for you guys. All right, I will see you guys in the next video. Astronaut out.